Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Activities. Today we're going to be doing another magic trick because I was told to. And today's trick is going to be the mystery... What is this? The mystery frame. Uh, it's a easy trick, thankfully, and it's from our new friends at Forum. Also, it's extreme street magic, so that should be fun. And we'll see if it actually works on a uh, tabletop environment, as it is supposed to be street magic. Well, here's the trick behind its plastic uh, casing. And you can see it also comes with instructions, just in case I need them. And here's how the trick's supposed to work. You slide a card in, and then you put a pencil through. You slide a card in, and you put a pencil through. You slide the card in, and you put the pencil through. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, so here's some words. Uh, uh -huh, make a pencil. Yeah, that's what I just sang. Okay. Uh, and here's the magician's code of conduct, which I am probably not going to follow. Nope. Yeah, not that one. No. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Uh, see here, that's where it's from. China, what a surprise. Actually, I think a lot of the Toy Smith stuff is actually from India. So, it's actually is a surprise that this is from China. Uh, here's the warning, it's a choking hazard. I don't even think this would fit down my throat, but I guess they're talking about the pencil. Oh, by the way, also I brought my own pencil and my own playing card because I don't expect them to be uh, included in the package. I don't see them there, so I'm assuming they're not. And as I'm only giving myself 90 seconds or 1 minute 30 seconds to complete this task without the instructions, I didn't want to have to go sharpening pencils. So, as soon as uh, I get this cardboard off the plastic, thus opening up the package, I'll start the timer and thus begin the trick. Here we go. See, that's always difficult when you get that little layer of paper that just wants to protect the in <laughs> the goodies inside. My lord. Okay. And here's the trick. And go. Go. There we go. And here it is. And it's a fairly substantial piece of plastic and this is the glass. That is not glass. And here is the card. So presto changer, like I said, I believe that what I could do is just put this card underneath this, pushing some sort of glass window across so I could then penetrate it with the uh, <laughs> pencil. If I do this wrong, I really think I'm going to actually break the trick. Okay, first of all, this is not going through as easily as I thought. Does it go through on both sides? Ooh, okay. So it's going through, but there's still plastic on that side, so I don't think I can get it through that way. Okay, so what about if I go on the other side? I don't... Okay, there's got to be a way to kind of get that plastic out of the way, or else the pencil is not going to go through, because it is not actually a... Uh, uh, magic pencil. So is that it? Did I do it? No, I didn't. No matter how many ways I put this through, it doesn't seem to get the uh, that little window. Maybe there's a little switch on this somewhere? Is there a little switch on this so that I can actually make the plastic glass thing move? And I gotta give it a shot. I gotta give it one shot. And go! Ooh, ah, pencil! And go! Yeah, it ain't working. Okay. I'm going to have to read the instructions. I may really suck at this, is, is one of the conclusions I'm coming to here. So, okay. I'm going to go read the instructions that are uh, contained in this little cellophane tube here. And then I'll come back and present the trick the way it's supposed to be presented. Wait here. All right, I think I figured it out. Read the instructions, and I think I know how to do it. Now, first of all, I was not using enough playing cards. 
And so that's what was probably hanging me up. So the idea here is what you want to do is you want to cover both sides of this hole with playing cards so that you can actually get the cards both pierced. I, I don't know. That's, that's how it works though. You want to make sure that both sides of it are actually covered. Then all you got to do is take the pencil and just poke it right through the clown face like this. And there you go. And you see what you've done now? You've pierced the cards right through the clown face and you can take it right out. And ta-da! Look you know. It's still a solid piece of plastic. Now how does this work you might ask? Well, what happens actually is when you put the card through, there's a little button that gets pushed, and then you kind of surreptitiously slide down the little, uh, the glass. But it only works if you push in both sides here, apparently. Ah, can't even show you how to do a trick. So, there's a little lever in there, and then you slide down the plastic like that. So once you have, I'll take these cards out, you'll be able to see there's a hole to put the pencil through. And that's the trick of the mystery frame from our good friends at uh, Forum. So I hope you liked this video and if you did please hit the like button. If you really loved it hit the subscribe button. Share this with your friends. Please join me for some other videos that are coming up. Stay active.